Okay, since the last video, been on uh, the Renault Owners Club of North America. Check it out, RenaultClub.us. Um, asking questions about that weird piston, and uh, I got some. See, Renault Source and Frog Parts both say no way should that be different. So. Uh, we're digging into that. We're going to look it over here in a minute, see if there's any markings on that, see why it's in there. Um, it actually turns out, though, the owner and his brother may have uh, may have worked on it at some point. We're, nobody's real sure. It's been a long time. So uh, that might be where the difference came from. Um, we've also got, uh, got here our, uh, we got our manual. So we can tear this bad boy down. Uh, you can see I've got the tranny transmission uh, stuff up right now. Okay, Let's take a look at that oddball piston up close here. Try to figure out, other than it's filthy, if it has any more. Now it does have a Renault mark. Uh, it says 18 also. I don't know if you can see. Right up in there is the Renault and 18. Nobody has any idea on what that's all about. The other side has FP. I hope you can see that. Oh well. I think we're going to end up putting the same size all the same size back in. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely, it looks like it's an, the RN that's on the same as on the can, or crank, I mean. Okay, then there's the others slotted. I'm going to try to give you another example of the difference in size. And uh, these fisheye lenses, lenses, it's hard to really show it even on there. But you can see it's shorter and uh, considerably smaller in diameter. I don't know what it would have come, you know, what would it have been for? Again, it looks like it has a and one eight on it. Okay, here's the box. She's been uh, soaking in PV blaster or whatever it is. Trying to loosen up some stuff. <laughs> Nothing yet, huh? Yeah, 
That's not budging it. And it's going. Okay, we're actually getting the stuck one to slide. It's actually the whole sleeve, but that'll work. Yep. Oh. Uh, hold on, we're gonna have to move the board. Okay. Hitting the board. There we yeah, go. It's out about an inch right now. Excellent. Oh yeah. There, there it came. Is. <laughs> now hopefully that'll loosen up the rest of these sleeves because man, there's nothing to hit on. That almost looks like a good crack there. But actually that looks like there's one there, so it must just be the way it's yeah. <laughs> That was a sleeve that piston didn't move. <laughs> so, two parts. No need. Yeah, in one of the books that shows that, okay. it looks like that. So I wasn't sure, I didn't know how it was really going to look. Because I couldn't figure out, because see, there's, there's a lip right there. I was trying to figure out how it actually okay. stopped it from going all the way through, and that makes sense now. What we're looking at... My tablet for that, but oh. what we're looking at is how this is put together. You see, it's just stuck. Uh, we're still gonna have to figure that out because there's we got to get this connecting rod. Um, so we'll clean this up, see what we can figure out on it at some point here. You can see, it's pretty rough. Now we got to figure out if these others will come out, and there's just not much underneath here. I like the suggestion of the wood. Obviously, it worked on this one. But there's not much to put wood on. It's so thin. <laughs> okay, this is the smaller piston sleeve. We know we're going to have to replace that one anyway because it's an oddball. So don't judge <laughs> what we're doing here. But we did use a, a cold chisel to get the force we needed to start it. Can you lift that up because so, more. But it is working. It is starting to slide out. So actually, you might even be able to get a wood now. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it's definitely. She's out. <laughs> Small one's out. <laughs> oh, what the heck was that? Cardboard. I hope that was just cardboard. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For comparison's sake, I uh, put this in the PB. No, I just poured it on my hand. <laughs> this is why you wear gloves. <laughs> but for comparison's sake, you can see that wall thickness. I mean that. This being what I well like the other three. I don't know which is normal, and this one's rather thick, but it's. Basically the same in design. Same thing? Sure. I already got two guys telling me they got parts, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one came easy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Whoops. That one's gouged. We'll get a new one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get a new one on this one. Okay, definitely loose. Yep. Sweet! Hey, look, this one's got. Actually, a seal. So is that one. Yeah, that one, that last one I. That Did one, it? Yeah, it had a seal on it. Too. Okay. Seal is stuck in there. Yeah, I can get a fingernail under it. Can you? Okay. Yay! <laughs> wow. the boom. There it is. Gotta clean that bad boy up. <laughs> but we got them out. Thanks everybody. <laughs> and now, these. How in the heck do we extract these when they're in there so nasty? Okay. She did manage to get Probably at least 
half or better of those to at least move. So we're at least getting them freed up. Yeah, you're seeing this. <laughs> Okay, that one moved. Just needs some persuasion. It's a rebuild. What do we care? <laughs> may have to. Oh, that one moved too. All right. So. <laughs> I think we got that one, but I think that one's all the way down, so I don't know hitting on it. Look at that. Yeah. Now, how do we get him to come back up? Okay. Figure we gotta get new ones anyway. <laughs> you got a better thought? Let me know. <laughs> no, no, they they need replaced. It's coming. Good. We can at least see one and see what we're dealing with. Yeah. Would you looky there? Good job. <laughs> you need vice grips to get the vice grips up. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we can actually see one of these things. And there's not much to it, is there? Practically a slug. <laughs> Look at that. What a beast. It's like an animal. <laughs> And went crazy. <laughs> and you may notice that's the camshaft. Go ahead and finish it off. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Finally take that thing off of there. Yay. And all right. If you know anything about this paint, uh, that means we got all those lifters out. And we got that guy out. I think that's for the oil pump, part of the oil pump. Yeah. Thing. And the uh, runs distributor too, I think. Well, our help didn't show up today. Must have been busy, so we didn't get to the fuel tank. Uh, we want to drop that out just to see how bad it is. Uh, we were thinking about have him check the radiator out too to see if it holds water. Or how much it leaks. So that that'll be next time probably. <laughs> and uh, we've got the head trying to clean up, especially on the side where that bad cylinder was. We haven't pulled the springs and the valves yet, so we're gonna have to do that. Um, getting ready to throw that block and some degreaser. A uh, mild degreaser so we don't eat up anything. Yeah. Um, still have to do the transmission. I don't think we're making that one today. Kind of leery on that one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's worth it because those bearings will need checked if not replaced. So, cool.